Nat 20. Welcome back to A Deal with Demons. In this episode, um, Duncan wasn't actually able to come here, so we'll just play it as if Ryan was an NPC. So, where we last left off, Ryan had ran into someone who looked strikingly like himself, chatted with him, and then promised to meet him at a bar later that night. Uh, Tony had just went to get one of his weapons enchanted, and then he was on his way back to the uh, bandit's home. Lazarus and Blaze and Lovecraft are all inside the bandit's house, uh, kind of hiding to try to surprise them when they come home. And then Ryan and Farron just made it to the, the outside of the bandit's home. And we are all in the city of Ait. Uh, Zerthos is just doing his own thing. Uh, Phasmir is searching for the dragon, and he said he'd send you a raven when he found it. And, yeah, so what did you guys like to do? Shit. Um, <laughs> I'd like to hide. <laughs> <laughs> I don't... I don't recall what I enchanted my... I believe I enchanted my longsword, but I don't... I think so. I think it was with uh, necromancy. I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He didn't want to do it. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I had to pay her, like, a shit ton of gold. Yeah. That was rough. <laughs> Sick yeah. stuff, though. We could really use this gold. <laughs> <laughs> I love it because everyone's like, everyone's like, shit, if I only had five more gold, and I look at, down at my gold, I had like 200, I was like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, Damn. Uh, so, like, is, I don't recall, do I Do I have to wait for it to be finished enchanting, or did she finish? No, I, I think she said that it would take two days. Okay. All right, we'll go with that then. All right, uh... I guess I'm going to go find the rest of the crew after getting my weapon enchanted. Because you could do anything else in town if you wanted. That's true. I don't think you said you're specifically going back to them. No, but I will now. Okay. Uh, what's going on in the house? Uh, it's all silent in the house. You guys are just hiding. You guys are really well hidden, actually. I think I think Zach used his Pass of the Trace on oh, you yeah, and Lovecraft. So. Yeah. Yeah, we roll some dope stuff checks. So if someone looks around, they just see like a uh, chair that looks kind of kind of like a uh, wretch, abyssal wretch, but it looks just like a chair. <laughs> like, like it'll fool anyone. I was gonna say I just hid in like a kitchen cupboard, <laughs> but that's better. Than that. <laughs> and they see a chair. <laughs> they, <with> the chair. <laughs> they see like a rug on the floor that looks kind of like a wolf but just fucking lying down. it <laughs> seems almost wild. exactly like just a thick rug that maybe they had a bought bit. before yeah. yeah I was rolled back yeah. uh. <laughs> and uh, they see a uh, let's see what they see for <laughs> a you a gold hat thing <laughs> yeah they, they <laughs> see a uh, a post where you'd like put your hats and stuff and it's, it kind of looks <laughs> like it's a bit thicker than normal, like, posts for hats. A thick post. But, uh, and it, it's almost, uh, orange colored, right? Or summer yeah. colored, almost orange colored. But it just seems like it's a uh, post for hanging your hat or coat. Masses of disguise. They'll never see us. <laughs> Why did we hide? Did we hear voices or sounds? No, you we guys were, were waiting, for waiting to surprise Oh, right. Yeah. right, right. <laughs> Very cool. Uh, so, Farron, uh, you're outside. I think you see that the window is open. Yeah, I think we left it open. Yeah. Um, you don't see anyone in sight besides you and Ryan. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, I guess Ryan's here. Oh, maybe I could just use him as a little puppet, man. Rhyme um, <laughs> room, no. <laughs> no, I won't do that. Um, We're all friends. No, that was not Scottish at all. <laughs> what the hell was that? Yeah, I don't know. Does it look like it's going to be easy for me to... Me, Farron, yeah. to climb up into this window? <laughs> yeah, it would probably be quite easy. Yeah. It's like on the first floor. Okay. Uh, and inside you see that the kitchen is right... Like through the window. <laughs> I guess Ryan's still technically a person. Never mind. Okay, I'm gonna climb up to <laughs> the window. Okay. Okay. Uh, you're able to get into the 
Room, roll a perception check, please. Okay. 19. 19? Wow. You s- Do you want us to re-roll our stealth? No, because <laughs> I think you had, like, 30. You probably had 26 or something. I had, like, 26 to 30 better. Yeah. yeah, Lovecraft was pretty high, too. Uh, so, you see a... As you walk through the house a little bit, you see a rug on the floor that looks almost the exact same color as... Lovecraft's fur, the wolf. Okay. As well, um... <laughs> he doesn't see me. No, <laughs> you, you don't actually see them. Uh, you see, you see, it's kind of just like a regular house in the living room and kitchen. Um, you see bl- a few spots of blood every once in a while that you assume maybe were tracked in by the bandits. Um. You see everything that's normal in a kitchen or living room as well as a post for a hat or cloak or some chairs, tables, stuff like that. And is it like dim in here or is it bright? Uh, What's the lighting like? It's, I think it's still the middle of the day, so there's lots of sunlight coming through the window. So it's not okay. dark. It's not like brightly lit as though like lamps are on or anything. Yeah, okay. Uh... Well, I'm gonna assume that Rug is just another wolf of <laughs> Lovecraft's kind that was <laughs> murdered and made into a pelt uh, and thrown on the floor. Step on it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I wipe my boots off. Step on it. Wait, you're outside? No, no he's inside. inside now. Oh, you came inside? Do yeah. we see? That's why I rolled perception. Uh, roll perception. <laughs> Unless you choose still being a chair, like, staring at the ground. Well, you don't have eyes. <laughs> your chair. I rolled a twenty-one. <laughs> yeah, you're able, e- a- easily able to hear him come in, and then see him come in 14. once he's within view. Damn! Again, you're sick. able to hear and see him. It's like, wow. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are there books in here? Yeah, there. Are, uh, there's a bookshelf in right? the living room on the far wall, and there you see that there's probably around fifty, maybe sixty books on like four shelves. Okay, I'm going on a little little quick detour. I'm just going to see if there's any, like, literature books in there. Okay. For common tongue. Like novels or, like... Yeah, anything great. that's about reading. <laughs> anything that's about reading? Anything that's about reading. <laughs> like, books about... Specifically, <laughs> so like, I find so a book about literature uh, okay. or, like, a dictionary. Oh, like, okay. a linguistic okay. book. Yeah. Or, like, linguistics. Yeah, okay. linguistics. I thought you meant, like, anything... Read this read. book to learn how to read. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you do see uh, there are a few textbooks on one of the shelves as well. One is Linguistics 101. Then <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah. uh, then there's a book of uh, all of the animals within Taltania. Um, there's not like any dictionaries or anything like that. Okay. Or encyclopedias. Uh, but there are like lots of like fiction novels, some... Um, uh, like history books of uh, the city of Ait. You see one of the city of Cleon, which is really far away from here. Um, you see a couple of recipe books, so specifically how to make crepes, <laughs> uh, edition 8. I don't have that one yet. Bring that back. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't need to. <laughs> Crepes are great. And yeah, just kind of books of all kinds. There, uh, there are, you do notice there that there are about three of them that seem to have gold bindings. Okay. And some gold, like, as you pick up one of them, you do see that there's, like, gold inlay on the pages. These guys are rich. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to take the linguistics book and the <laughs> animals book. Okay. And then I'm going to... <laughs> <laughs> Do I hear this? Or, I'm yelling it out. You're yelling it? Yeah, I'm like, yeah, it's yeah, a chair. Yeah, you'd hear it. You would oh, yeah. definitely hear it. <laughs> We're trying to hide. <laughs> and then when, when you look towards the voices, you see a chair. Like, it just looks exactly like a chair with maybe a few uh, uh, bumpy parts. Don't move a muscle! 
I'm going to walk slowly over to the chair. Sit in it. <laughs> Don't do that! It's me, Blaze. Blaze? Yes! What are you doing? Hiding! Why are you a chair? <laughs> We're going to ambush the bandits. I've done six voices. <laughs> what? You do recognize that it's Blaze now. What bandits, Blaze? I talked through my mouth hand. (laughs) The bandits didn't live here. We're gonna fucking ambush them. (laughs) 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 So, like, hide behind the couch or something. (laughs) I am absolutely fascinated. (laughs) How did you become a (laughs) chair? 17 years training in a monk monastery just hide by the fucking couch. So is this like contortion? Or is this a spell? All you need to know is that I'm uncomfortable. (laughs) Can I sit? Sit. Not on me! Just fucking find a place to hide. Ah, okay. I'm gonna go hide by the bookshelf. Not there! (laughs) Uh, So I'll just see if I can like Turn it book. around. Yeah, uh, so <laughs> as you try to turn the bookcase around, you actually see that it opens into a secret room. Oh, no what? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> this was planned, gentlemen. <laughs> From the distance in the corner, you hit the trigger. What? <laughs> yeah, at this point, I also. Uh, retreat from my facade. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> so you just see the pole that is for, like, hanging cats or whatever, just move and start to. And grow arms and legs. <laughs> <laughs> the hell are you doing? <laughs> this is a weird room. I, I'm, um, I'm, I'm staying hidden. <clears throat> I'm not risking this. Wait, so Blaze, does this mean if I, like, touch the underside of your chair, that's technically, like, <laughs> diddling you? <laughs> I don't respond. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, do you want me to drag you in here? <laughs> Can we, like, pull you? Just leave me! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, I'm gonna go in this new place that I found. Yeah, I'm curious as well. Cool, yeah. sounds good! <laughs> okay, um, looks like I found a nice, good, secret place to hide. This is nice. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go into the passageway. Okay, I'll go back to... <clears throat> awesome, so I, I know where they went, right? Like, Yeah, the... uh, I think when you guys first went to the House of the Wizard... Yeah. He, uh, he told, or no, when you first went to the inn, no, Zach had found the bandit's house and he had told you guys where it was, I think, oh, or okay. uh, Lazarus had. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, well, I'm gonna head there, because I'm just, like, I'm okay. waiting for my story to be done. I so. think I'd put, um, oh, well, X markers. Leading yeah, there. that's right, yeah, yeah. Alright. Yeah, uh... X marks Outside, the you actually see Ryan outside of the window, house. yeah. Oh, okay. And you see a window open and dry and it's kind of just like peeking through. Okay. Um, hmm. Can I try the front door? Sure. <laughs> Is it locked? <laughs> it is locked. Okay. <laughs> um, um, unfortunate, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and so I see, like, I see the w- Ryan peeking through that window. Yeah. All right. Um, and Ryan sees you and he's like, I'm not going to do his voice because I can't do voices, but he just says, Ailra, hey, come here. Uh, we're gonna hide and surprise the bandits that live here. Alright, uh, do you need a lift in or, uh... (laughs) Not the beard! (laughs) Uh, he he says that he's not really the stealthiest, so he's just gonna hide outside. Oh, okay. Make sure nothing goes wrong from outside. Whack. Um, I guess I'm gonna crawl through the window. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna crawl in, see what's up. Okay. Do I see this? Uh, you guys are just walking into the room as he walks up. Uh, so, you see, uh, it's like a regular kitchen. There's just some chairs, tables, whatever, a counter. And then in the living room next to it, you see, uh, you see a rug on the floor that is the exact same color as Lovecraft's fur. And you also see these guys walking to a bookcase. Oh. He doesn't see me. <laughs> yeah, you see, a, you see a chair kind of wobbling towards the bookcase. <laughs> we see we see him walking, though? Yeah. yeah. 
it's all a fucking party in here. <laughs> <laughs> so much for stealth. <laughs> Are you a chair? Don't worry about it. <laughs> all right. Uh, <laughs> and like, is the the secret passage for the bookcase open? open yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. And you guys are headed in. Um, all right. I'm, uh, is that a secret passage in a bookcase? Yeah. <laughs> I think so. Is it? Uh, it could be a little small crawl space to hide in. I haven't gone in yet. So <laughs> as you walk in, it is dark inside, uh, which no, all of you have dark vision or yeah. dark vision rings. Mm-hmm. So you're able to see that this is a decent sized room, like probably around 40 feet by 30 feet. And you see it's filled <laughs> with expensive art and statues. Mm. And uh, on one wall, you actually see a uh, painting that Roll a history check. E. And uh, roll in with advantage. I'm not there. E. There you are. No, you're, not. you're walking in with them, aren't you? No, I stayed a chair. Oh, I thought I you were walking in with the chair. No, you stayed no, as the chair? No. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, I'm, <laughs> okay. I'm staying in my corner. We're supposed okay. to ambush these guys. I'll look later. <laughs> and eight. eight. I'm sticking to the bit. Ooh, I was at a one or an 18, so... Looks like a one to me. No, where are you? Oh, I got advantage. That was you, the bad one. Oh, he yeah, one eight. He would have had advantage. advantage. Yeah, I got an eighteen. <laughs> you got a one, buddy. Yeah. Well, I rolled the green re-roll. one first. Oh, yeah, just I re-roll. Yeah. I feel good about. Oh, uh, no, that's cocked. Oh, yeah, that's okay. cocked. Okay, seventeen. <laughs> <laughs> we are so not 18. cheating. <laughs> six. Yeah. Six. You do you notice that? One of the paintings you see on the far wall looks a lot like the style that Blaze actually paints in. Yo. <laughs> I'm just gonna... So you painted actually painted worth something? Fifth grader? <laughs> Professional artist. <laughs> I'm not moving. I'm at, in the corner here. We should really get back to hiding before they show up. Blaze. What? Get in here. No, they're gonna be here any minute. No, Blaze. Get I in here and close s- the door. You guys are yelling! Blaze, I think you made some paintings. <laughs> Make several paintings. That's my thing. I think there's paintings in here you made. No, except doesn't. these paintings are good. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> I get out of chair form and I I make my way over there. You okay. transform. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's roll out. <laughs> yeah, Gotta no, roll out. <laughs> uh, when Blaze gets in, I'm gonna close the okay. thing, but like okay. not all the way. Just yeah. I I call so Lovecraft and follow. Okay. Makes sense. Leaving him alone to yeah. die. <laughs> yeah, so I'll pull him in the room with me. You see the rug manifest back into a dog, and it follows you. Ah, there goes a perfect 26 stealth chick. <laughs> uh, so you see this painting in the back, and it's one you painted back probably 20 years ago when you were in I-8. Oh, wow. And you see where you like normally signed your name is kind of painted over, and you see another name on it. Well, that's some bullshit! <laughs> but you're only just barely able to notice this just because you know where to look for stuff like that. Yeah, but well, do I remember how much this painting sold for? Uh, you actually remember that you painted this and gave it to one of your friends. Oh. A long time ago. Right. Maybe he's hmm. abandoned now. What's the painting over again? to kill him. It's a dead prince. Uh, it's a... <laughs> <laughs> I also have to tell you that I'm a prophet. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I start to float. Yeah. No, um. uh, it's a painting from one of the nearby mountains, looking onto the city of Ait. Oh, okay. Uh, with like the sun uh, setting down in the background. So I know Mona Lisa, but this is <laughs> this is horrible. They ruined it. <laughs> Whose name is this? Can I read the it name? Is horrible. Yeah, uh, it is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Soldor Amdi. I made that up on the spot. That was impressive. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> w- what friend did I give it to? Uh, it was one of your, one of the friends that you made while training as a monk. And this friend actually ended up leaving the monk order or school yeah. to pursue life in Eight. Oh, okay. Uh, that doesn't make sense. I, I gave this to a friend years ago. Why did they have it? <laughs> And you do realize it's with a bunch of other, like, expensive statues, other expensive paintings, and stuff like that. They probably sold the painting. Didn't like the feng shui. Now they're <laughs> painting their names over to try and sell 
my art <laughs> for lots of money. And this name isn't the name of your friend. No, I figured, yeah. 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 Oh, these bastards are going to die. <laughs> <laughs> if just... there's one thing I hate, it's forgery. All right. Roll a history check, please. Me? Yeah. Ho-ho. Oh. Uh, 20. Not that. You do recognize the name Solador... What's the yeah same Amdi Amdi yeah thank you so 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 more Amdi so the more say with me now so door so door more no so so door Amdi Amdi okay so door Amdi yeah your name I need you I need to write stuff down so you do recognize this as the name of an upcoming painter in I. Yeah, who comes from Ike. Yo. New Banksy, am I right? <laughs> Alright, never mind. <laughs> Alright, apparently this guy doesn't know how to paint jack shit. He's been lying the whole time. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try and scrape the fake name off. Okay. As best I can without damaging it too much. Uh, just roll a performance jack, I guess. Performance? Yeah. Uh-oh. Or uh, sleight of hand or direct you, I guess. Uh, seven. Seven? Mm. Uh, you do scratch the name off, but you also scratch some of, like, the painting and some of your name off. But you do, you are able to see your actual signature underneath. Yeah, that's what I thought. Ah, it's fine. It was supposed to be a gift anyway. I wasn't expecting money. Uh, I look around the other art. Do I see more forgery like that? Uh, no. Do I look, see any more of Soldor's name anywhere? Though? No, that's the only Soldor that you actually see in this room. Hmm. You see some other famous artist names that you recognize from different places around the world. And one catches your eye that's from, uh, Cleon as well. Which is way far away. Alright. What's the piece? Uh, it's a painting of, uh, the view of the ocean from the island of Cleon. And you see a, Leviathan-like creature jumping out of the ocean at one point, just like just barely. Cool. And like the waves over the water are intricately painted with some fish jumping out as well. I think these guys have been going around town, nabbing people's art, and now they plan on sending it at some kind of auction for like crazy gold. We should steal it. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> I mean, we can steal my painting. I would like it back. Well, it doesn't have your... Well, your name wasn't on it. You literally watched me <laughs> unveil my name! Well, Aaron does make a point. I mean, we do need to save uh, a world, I think. And <laughs> we're going to need gold for that. Is you want just... me to sell my painting? No, not your painting. You can keep that. We could sell the rest. Oh, it's burning down. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just going to double check my alignment. <laughs> Is it just the paintings and statues in this room? Uh, so there are paintings, statues, there are also a few artifacts that you see that seem to be from, like, specific points in history or mm. stuff like that. Okay. So, like, a sword from, uh, what is her name? uh, the lady who actually discovered Avranches, like, the pirate lady. Mm-hmm. As well, you see, like, the crown of the first king of Teltania. It's probably expensive. Yeah. <laughs> that belongs in the museum. <laughs> the um, Holy Grail. Yeah. <laughs> as well as a few different gauntlets and some uh, cutlery and sa- saucers, stuff like that. Listen, guys, I agree. We need money, but you can't just take other people's things and sell them for money. That's thievery. That's wrong. It's their work. If anyone should get paid for it, it's them. You so, gotta look at the bigger picture, though. All, all the smaller gold. items around the place, I'm just kind of like, have my bag open, and I'm just kind of <laughs> shoving it in there. See, we need a foundation to support our means to save where we live. Are you trying to do this stealthily? No. Okay. <laughs> just have my pack so you're saying a bunch of clothes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, this is... Oh my god. Oh. I'm gonna go have a peek through the little crack I left in the okay. shelf. Okay. okay, I'm gonna start. I'm taking my paint. I'm gonna roll it up. I'm okay. gonna get rid of the the frame. Rip it out of okay. the frame. 
Well, no, I'm going to un- slowly, carefully unscrew the frame, put the pieces aside in a nice order, and then gently roll up the painting, and then put it in my sack. <laughs> okay. Sounds tedious. Yeah, well, I don't want to ruin my painting. I spent a <laughs> solid, like, probably few days on it. Yeah. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, so you don't actually see anyone come in quite yet. Okay, do I hear anyone? Uh, you can hear the bus of the city a tiny bit just through the open window and stuff like that. Do I feel vibrations on the floor? No. <laughs> Does the floor taste like someone's coming? <laughs> yeah, I'm going through all the senses. Uh, all right. I'll just stay there. Okay. All right. If we're going to steal don't stuff, watch. don't take anything that's been signed. <laughs> that's, that's my happy medium, okay? Don't take, like, part with someone's name on it or a sculpture or someone's name. Take, like, the utensils or the... The fancy tea cups. I don't know. Just wait. Did the crown get packed up yet? Did you pack up the crown? Don't yet? take the crown. That's <laughs> a historical yeah, artifact. Going the crown. <laughs> I am going to grab that. This is all in my oh. mind. You don't know. Yeah. Okay, but I see him going for it. Right? Okay, like eyeing it up. Like this is. I'm awesome. gonna snatch fancy. that. I'm gonna snatch <laughs> that if I can. Okay, so you're walking up to it. What are, where well, are you going to go? I see that he it? has the race. So I'm just going. Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Keep watching. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it if I can. Uh, contest. <laughs> <laughs> Roland, Roland, insight check to see if you notice that he's actually going for the crown. Arm wrestle. I thought he was holding it. He was going towards it. Went off track there. Insight. Yeah. Um, thirteen. Are you trying to be, like, kind of sneaky about it? I don't know. <laughs> you see him walking towards the crown, and his eyes are fixated on the crown. Lazarus, that's that's different. You can't take that. That We really... Well, we'll take it out of here, but we should give that back to, like, an official or somebody. Like, that's a really important historical artifact. Yeah, I'll give it to an official for some money as I, <laughs> as I pick it up. And then no, I'm it's not something it. you could just sell for whatever. Wait. Can I try it on? No! <laughs> Let me knight you, <laughs> That's the royal crown of the first king. <laughs> <Yeah, I'm laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm actually knighted, though. I'm actually knighted, though. Yeah, but I'm getting crowned. <laughs> okay, well, it's not official. Well, I was about to be higher rank. I was officially knighted. I'm having an aneurysm! <laughs> <laughs> um, are there any notable paintings that, like, are worth money? <laughs> I yeah. just said don't take me! <laughs> so, uh, roll it. Roll a history check. Baller. That's a, a nat 20! And what's your background again? Um, I don't remember. Noble? I'm, yeah, were you noble? I think so. Okay. I don't, yeah. don't think I wrote it down. No, he was. He was. So. Well, you got a nat 20 anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. I was going to give you advantage if you were a noble, but since oh, okay. it's nat 20, you're good. Okay, uh, so you recognize that uh, a lot of these paintings are very famous paintings that uh, you have actually heard every once in a while about a famous painting going missing. Oh, okay. And these seem to be from pretty much most areas within Talthania. So there's definitely some from... Well, there's, of course, some from Ait that you recognize. Yeah. Uh, you do see a couple that were hanging in... That you know are hanging in one of the palaces in Eol. As well as uh, from Cornell and Arist, and you you see a huge, a very large one from Clout as well that you have seen when you probably traveled there at some point. Nice, huh? Um, I think I'm just gonna start grabbing them and like lining them up. Okay. So I can, like <laughs> take them like under my arm or just like kind of get them all together. Okay. Just in a just in a pack or a... Yeah, you're able to do that. No. You're hoarding a bunch of paintings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Am I wearing the crown now? Yeah, you are. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm going to go keep watching you. I'll, I'll put the crown down on you. and I, uh, If you're on your knees, I'm like... I put my long sword down. I'm like... Oh, yeah. I now dub you the new king of Top Tanya. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this feels good. This feels good. Yeah. You guys... <laughs> hey, Rendell. You're not selling those paintings. Those have to go back to the authorities. Oh, who said I was, pa- oh, was going to sell them? I, I, I can see it in your eyes. <laughs> what are you going to do? You're just going to collect all those paintings and 
You're gonna give them back to the authorities? Uh, I, might, I might burn them. <laughs> 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 and you, you do actually notice a lot of these are from uh, Summersdale. Um, yeah, Summersdale Mall and a few from Larhead and of Ranches. Like, more of them are from those places than all of the rest. So you kind of would assume that these bandits maybe went to those towns or cities after they were taken over. Mm. Okay. Spicy. Okay, 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 okay. Listen, let's steal the little things. Let's leave the big <laughs> things, you know, like the famous paintings and the historical crown the from the first king of Delta <laughs> Well, no, the crown's pretty small. <laughs> no, you know what I mean? Important-wise. Okay, so let's make a little pile of important things. Look, and it was already started. <laughs> Put more, like, signed paintings on top. This is the don't take pile. <laughs> and then everything else is yours. Well, please. on my noggin. So... It's not yours. That is... So too important it for you to be wearing. Really good. Yeah, when you put it up, when it was put on your head, you noticed that it seemed to fit exactly perfectly. It's literally a perfect fit. Like I, I, I was meant for you, this. Actually, right? you pretty almost, much don't even feel it on your head because it's that comfortable. I'm actually almost 100 percent certain that there's probably an enchantment that did that for you. That's why. You know, it feels so good. It's like you can't even feel it. Like, is it there? Is it? Is it here? As I go touching my head. Yeah, it's still there. <laughs> This feels lovely. I'm gonna go keep watch to make sure we don't get caught. Can you guys now. roll a perception check right now, please? Oh, oh, oh cry. Spaghetti-o. I rolled a... 16. 20. Is that a... That's 19. Okay. I, I just want to frame it. Uh, I rolled uh, so. a 16. Perception... <clears throat> oh, that's a uh, 22. Nice. You can yeah. see really good. Thanks, man. <laughs> uh, all of you except for Lazarus hear the door close, like the main door to the house close. And then you hear footsteps. I take the crown off his head. No, <laughs> really quick. No, that's not. No, <laughs> I, Guys, I, I walked over back to the thingy. I'm gonna try and snatch it off his head really quick. <laughs> I tell everyone to be quiet. <laughs> Stealthily. No, stealthily. We, 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 I hear the I didn't shout it. I was just like, guys. Uh, I take the crown off and I put it in my snatch pack. Snatch pack. <laughs> my little pack pack. Okay. Let's not go in a snatch pack. <laughs> Listen, we'll, the, they're going to sell later. Let's just go out there and fuck those guys up. Does, does the uh, door for the book is like, does it swing inward or outward or does it slide? It goes outward. Right? Outwards, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. I'm going to stand right at the front of the door and I'm going to take out my dagger and just kind of hold it in opposition so I can just like <laughs> okay. stab someone. Okay. Uh, I'm going to back up because I don't want to fight. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. And Zach, to answer your question from before, uh, the large item in this room is a uh, Sphinx sculpture that's about... Uh, Six feet by five feet, and it seems to be to be made of some silver, some gold, and a few other metals as well. I would have been tried to, dra- I would have been dragging that, <laughs> or at least try to, <laughs> as, <laughs> as the door would have been opening. Okay, I don't think you could even lift that. Yeah. Gosh, I would. It, it would to. be a few hundred pounds and make a lot of grinding on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> so while you heard the door opening, uh, the bandits did not hear you. And then I would have heard yeah. the window say, say stop, so I yeah. would have stopped. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I pull up my daggers and I get close to the door as well. Okay. <laughs> just standing there behind the door, just <laughs> ready to strike. Shall we wait for them to come in, or shall we step out now and hack and slash? Do we want to, like, kill them? Yes! These people are... Thieves of priceless artifacts. Can we just knock Beautiful art. But what if we knock them unconscious yeah, we need to and call the local them. authorities? I'm not interrogating. I'm killing these bastards. We can kill them. We are whispering. Interrogate them. <laughs> we are whispering. Yeah. Is the uh, is the house made out of wood? Like, is the, everything in this section like the secret room made like with the walls out of wood, or is it like uh, stone? Overall, the majority of the house is made of out of stone. Okay. The floor is wooden. No fire. Okay. So, well, we can kind of like we should. We should wait till they sleep and then burn down the house. 
Yeah, maybe they might be up. Are you serious? Sure? No, we're not burning down the house. No, Look no, at all no, the artifacts no. that are in here. Roll another objective. perception check, please. Oh, God. Artist objective. Let's throw on the other side of the bookcase. <laughs> not 20. 14. 21. I'm distracted by so this. So the three of you, crowd. excluding Blaze, all here. Shh. Did you hear that? I put my mouth on the head. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't the one yelling. <laughs> uh, okay, guys, listen. Why don't we, they might not know we're in here. What if we just keep this closed? He can stand there and Dale can stand watch. They just heard us. Just, we can wait until they're sleeping. It'd be easier. Don't we touch the door. Turn on the lookout, man. They heard us. They're, we're whispering. Don't I'm <laughs> <not> <laughs> my hand over your mouth. You can't talk. <laughs> He's got his mouth hand. Yeah. Can you talk? No. I, no, you didn't mention it, Zach. All right. Yes, I'm going to say really quick. As you're starting to talk, I covered that. No, I'm shut gonna, up. I'm going to look through the floorboards. Can I see them, like, through the floorboards? Uh, no, it's, like, the same level of the house. <laughs> oh, we're on the same yeah, level. Yeah. 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 Like, okay, 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 never mind. <laughs> I thought we were... Uh, <laughs> Guys, it's fine. There's nothing but the foundation <laughs> and the cobwebs down there. Yeah, that's why I just look like an idiot. <laughs> at the ground right now. I think I can see them. <laughs> Actually, just roll a perception check. Guys, don't worry. If they come through the door, I'll fucking stop it. <laughs> I see a really small spider. 13. 13? It doesn't look like just foundation below the floorboards. Ooh. 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 I, I use my, my mouth hand to like pinch at his, his hip with the teeth. I'm like, later. <laughs> hey, hold on. Guys, it, this far, it doesn't just look like ground beneath it. Like there's there's something under here. So as you, I can't see though, it's really dark. As you take a better look, you're able to she, see that it kind of seems like another secret room, maybe like a place where they would hide. Oh guys, we gotta break this floor. I'm, I'm gonna them. start like <laughs> testing the floorboards, see if any of them are creaky or misplaced. Okay. Here, I'm, I can't. I, I can go out there, I can make a distraction if you guys want, <laughs> and then leave them back in here for an ambush trap. Well, well, Otherwise, we'll be waiting here for several hours. Is that, uh, is that, uh, Lazarus, so as you look around the different parts of the floor, you see that where the Sphinx initially was. It seems to like move, like creak or crack a little bit more than any of the other places. Ooh, I was onto something. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we really gotta get under this floor. There's gotta be something. Uh, I'll, Let's rip out the freaking bandits first. <laughs> I'll, I'll try prying up the uh, boards. Okay, <laughs> as quietly as I can. <laughs> okay, uh, what are you using to pry them up? A dagger. Dagger. Okay. I'm. I'm also gonna slowly. Because the door was, like, slightly open. Right? Yeah, I left it slightly open. So I'll, like, slowly pull it close, and I'll hold it close okay. with my one hand, and then still keep the dagger in the other. Oh. Yeah. Very nice. As long as that doesn't make any noise. He's rolling. Direction. He's rolling. Uh-oh. I'm just rolling to see if it creaks or not. They were probably staring at just like the like <laughs> So the guy was looking ab- at above his... 50, it doesn't creak. Below 50, it does. Uh-oh. That's some decent odds. You hear creak. Ah. <laughs> Do they notice? That's where you just scream really loud you hear, to mask the cover of this oh, creak. Oh, guys. And then you hear, you hear quiet steps coming towards the bookcase. Then you hear uh, a hand on one part of the bookcase. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, 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 hold up. Lazarus, uh, you were able to slit, uh <coughs> Try it open a little bit. I'm gonna okay. really... Okay, wait. I, as the door opens, I'm gonna throw I'm, a smoke pellet down. I'm, I'm holding <laughs> Batman <laughs> over I'm here. I'm holding it close. <laughs> well, they know we're here, so as it opens, I'm gonna... I'm saying I'm readying that. As soon as that door opens, I'm I, throwing I'm a smoke pellet down. Okay. I'm readying okay. the blind... My blindness ability. Okay. Be careful, I'm also right at the door. <laughs> it's... I can direct it. Just <laughs> one person. Uh... You then feel a pull on the door r- real hard, so just roll a strength check. Okay. Luckily, that's what I'm good at. Uh, Ooh, that's okay. a t- 21. Yeah, so you feel the pull, and then you feel it stop, and then you hear a thump as what you expect. <laughs> uh, one of the bandits fall down after trying to pull on the door, but it wouldn't budge. Nice. And you, then you hear a few books clatter to the floor as well. <laughs> that's what I like to see, baby. Hell yeah. I'm way too strong. <laughs> <laughs> and then you hear 
Fucking hell. <laughs> I'm playing with my smoke pillow on the ready like a fucking stress ball. They know we're here. We should just let them in and take care of it. Azurus, are you breaking the floor? Yes. <laughs> gonna... you make a hole? It's their house. They're going to know that room is there. As you squeeze the... Oh, come on. Uh, <laughs> uh, after the third... Like, you were squeezing it while he was holding the door, and then you heard, heard the thump, and you squeezed it a bit too hard at that time, and you noticed a lot of smoke seems to be coming out, and smoke starts to <laughs> fill the room. Oh, fuck it! <laughs> what are you doing? Open the door! I want to kill him! I rolled uh, w- w- a d100, and I got two. Are you serious? Yeah. Open the door! I want to kill him! <laughs> no, 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 Look, we're gonna not be able to breathe soon. There's a lot of smoke. <laughs> it's just smoke. It's not gonna fucking suffocate you. What do you think we breathe? <laughs> <laughs> He's got a point. It's not smoke. <laughs> oh. <laughs> open the door! <laughs> I got both my dangers out now. I'm holding the door to no, us. Don't open the door. We Let me at him! <laughs> He's vicious. He has no. He's no hold back. Lazarus. They know we're here. They might not know of the thing under the floor. Though. It's their house. <laughs> Doesn't mean they found it. He's got a point. You hear one pair of footsteps start to start to move away to another section of the house. They know they're gonna go through the secret passage, which leads to here, which leads underneath the sphinx, which leads to us. Well, then they have better aim at their head. Open the door! I am really good! <laughs> That's not up to me. Here, you just open it a tiny crack, I'll squeeze through. <laughs> no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue to hold it close. Or actually, uh, you, you notice the steps going upstairs. I look up. <laughs> you don't see anything because the stairs are more to the right. Oh. But do I see any other hatches up there? Nope. Oh. Okay. I'm still working on the floor. <clears throat> I'm ignoring, like, everything else. <laughs> okay. You're able to open the hatch. Nice. And it's wide enough for pretty much anyone of any race to get into. Check for traps! I got a way out! And I'll jump down in. Didn't okay. check for traps. <laughs> <laughs> uh... So this drops down probably around uh, seven feet. No, uh, probably ten feet. And as you look around, it does look like a like hideout room or like a bunker type thing. Okay. So there's not actually a way out. It's it's literally just like an extra room with no way out. Uh, you roll a investigation check. It's probably just like a little hidey hole. So we might have to all jump in there and try to put the floorboards back. <laughs> no, uh, we're there. Nine. Nine? Not. You're having a tough time finding any other way out. It's like you a panic You see there's uh, lots of shelving on the wall with lots of cans of food or wine or alcohol. And it's like a cellar slash <laughs> panic room. And then you do see some beds. Uh, two Two beds on one side of the room. Um, you see a large container filled with water. Um, okay. I'll uh, I'll try moving the shelves if they're light enough. Check behind them. If there's nothing there, I'll check underneath the beds. Okay. Uh, so as you're checking one of the shelves, you try to like pull it, but nothing happens. But as you pull, you do see that there's some. Uh, kind of opposite motion. Like it tries, like as you pull it, it doesn't budge, but it kind of goes back, goes forwards instead a little bit. Okay. So maybe it's a push door. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try pushing it. It that opens. Doesn't... Yeah? Okay. <laughs> I told you guys I had a way out. And I'll see what's down that path. Okay. Why another room. We, why don't we just leave a little surprise for them here, and then go down there and get the hell out of here? Because I want to fucking rip their throats out. Okay, well, we can attack this from a different angle. Okay, I'll attack from this angle. <laughs> you find a different angle. You hear footsteps <laughs> come back down the stairs. He's got a bazooka! <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Okay, but what if we 
do Blaze's thing, all right? We destroy them here like he wants to. And then we use that as an escape tunnel. So it doesn't look weird that we just walk out of the house. Or maybe we got other people outside. We're in the right here, though. We're going to report this place and return all these items to the either the museum or the rightful owners. Negative. Listen, as first king, or as the new king, I'm okay. Of any. First of all, that is the most important thing that we're giving back. What? My books? No, the crown. I'm. What crown? I know it's in your pockets. I watched you put it in the sack. I kind of wave my hand around his face. There is no crown. <laughs> <laughs> I wave my hand in front of his face. Yes, there fucking is. <laughs> Listen, let's worry about that shit later. Just open the door and let me tear some fucking throats out. <laughs> and uh, what do you think? Do we open the door? I got a lot of pent up rage. <laughs> I got a plan. I'm going to hold it close. They're going to try to pull on it again. I'm going to let go. They're not going to expect the force. Fall back. I stab him in the face. Yeah, are you saying this out loud? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <My intelligence. laughs> so My this intelligence. entire time you are still feeling pull on the door. Oh, like, yeah. off and um, on. Okay, that's how you feel. Lazarus! <laughs> Do I hear something? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, how loud are you saying I'm that? just like shouting at him. My intelligence <laughs> yeah, you, you is not that hear. high. <clears throat> it's like base, pretty much. Oh, yeah. Everything's in my charisma. Yeah, I have 10 intelligence, so I yell back. What? <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to do? What's the plan? Uh, well, <clears throat> I have... A 18 intelligence, so I yell, SHUT UP! <laughs> we need to capture these guys! <laughs> Why? So capture you them. stop feeling pull at the door. Uh, then they heard three, your tactic, and they're gonna play two. it on you. You hear a bang! As loud, like, one of oh. the loudest bangs you've ever heard. Oh, Jesus. And... Oh, God. <coughs> roll a dexterity saving throw with disadvantage, please. <laughs> they definitely shot a cannonball at the door. <laughs> Yo! Oh man, we open that and they just have a huge cannon. <laughs> Do I need to roll two? I was like right by the door. Yep. Uh, dirty 20. Am I also disadvantaged? Oh, shit. Uh, just regular. Fuck, I need to have to roll. Uh, ooh, ooh. I'm uh, literally eight. Eight? Yeah. Okay. Dexterity saving throw? Yep. Rat it was row. only him. Oh, and yeah. Blaze. Rat row, okay, I was there ready. The oh, line. you were right at the door? Yeah, I was with him <laughs> ready <laughs> to blind them. Uh, <clears throat> Fortunately for you, Tony got hit. <laughs> oh, right, I rolled, uh, <laughs> I forgot to that. change my stats, like the main stats. So my saving throw is still plus seven. Uh, but, you're oh. good. Uh, I don't know, I'll take the hit. I took the whole yeah. Yeah. Oh, you, you did? Took, yeah. I rolled a 16, but I don't know what to add to that. I'll have to look at it. So the two of you see... A large hole break through the bookshelf itself. Yeah. And then you see uh, blood oozing out of Aelendral's stomach. Shit, we don't have a healer. <laughs> now we're talking! <laughs> yeah, we're, and we're that's, behind outside. We're just outside. <laughs> <laughs> he can't quite peek through the window. He's not tall you enough. So he's like, window still. <laughs> jumping. What's going on in there? <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna just better like, out than in, I always say. <laughs> I'm gonna like turn my body and look through the hole. And just, is there, is there still okay. smoke filling uh, everywhere? Yes. Well, I guess it's coming out now. <laughs> uh, so, Tony, you feel yeah. as though you've been hit with a brick of hammers. <laughs> so, I'll put it again. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, after you get hit, you actually get launched back a, a little ways. And. You now realize that you have a big hole in your stomach. It doesn't come out the other way. So you got a cannonball in your stomach? <laughs> I guess so. Yo, I don't know. I'm just weigh you down. Um, it's okay. I'm dead anyway. So there's a hole. They're going to crawl through. Oh, I, I should do damage They're going to crawl you. through. That's going to be some fucking Me early damage. Holy shit. You're dead. No. I'm a, well, yeah, I am. Yeah, but... <laughs> no, like you're dead dead now. You got shot by a fucking cannon, Tony. Yeah, that's probably not a lot. It's a cannonball. You take mm, 56 points of damage. You took 14 points of damage. Oh, that's, that's not the dude. Okay. I'll start <laughs> looking back when I hear that big bang. Okay. Uh, I look through the hole. Yes, I do. What do I see? Uh, you see two bandits, and one is holding kind of a mechanism that uh, looks kind of like a tube, and then there's a trigger at the bottom, and a few la- a latch on the top. Now we're talking! Uh, I'm going to... I'll be in one of the chests. 
I'm not using another smoke pill that turned out to not work out very well. Um, oh, I'm going to use my peanut butter can. I'm going to open it up through the hole so the okay. snake should have it. <laughs> <laughs> Say hello to my little friends! <laughs> I roll 1d6 to see how many fine snakes smoke. I'm going to grab Arendelle and Six. I'm going like, to retreat yes. him into the hole that's okay. below the floor. Okay. Six flying snakes. Uh, then you hear screams and then you... Uh, See how they do, actually. Uh, so... You just lost a bunch of snakes. I did. I'm <laughs> yeah. Six flying snakes of them. So you, you hear yelling and stuff like that from two different people and screaming and noise of, like, fighting. So trying to, like, kill the snakes. Then you hear only one person. And do you only hear about what you assume is probably two snakes flying around. And it seems like a battle. You, you notice that the mechanism you saw that was kind of like a tube with a handle and trigger is now on the ground. Okay, I'm gonna vault through the hole. Oh. It, it's like this. Oh, it's only that big. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was bigger. How no. fucking big did you think? <laughs> well, you shot shot my fucking cannon. I thought it was like big enough for my tiny abyssal wretch form to fit through. It wasn't a cannon. Oh, well, it sort of like a cannon. I guess. That's the my, that was my first thought. But uh, can I open the door then? Yeah, you uh, push open the door and you see. T- one flying snake now, uh, fly flitting from one side to the other to try to bite this bandit, but this bandit now has a sword in his hand and is trying to swipe at. Okay. And then you see the snake it cut in half. Mm, the oh. sky it does seem like the sky has taken a few bites already. All right, perfect. Uh, Don't and- kill him. <laughs> you guys never do what I tell you to do. I'm gonna th- throw my daggers at him. Okay. <laughs> Just roll it. Okay. Well, I get first dagger. Ugh, that does. I don't think that hits. What's my plus? Um. Ooh. Yeah. So I'm gonna start with the obsidian. So plus six. So ten to hit. No, that misses. Okay. And then I use my bonus to throw the diamond. Uh, natural twenty. Yeah. So oh, nice. you throw this dagger. With all your might, and it hits him straight in the forehead. Nice. And he kind of looks up at you, wide-eyed. Then you see the whites just fill his eyes, and he falls back, dead. Oh, I won't even roll damage then. Nice. <laughs> Got him! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start scooping up. The yellow dude's dead, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to start shooting, shoving my snakes back into the can. I don't know how it works. Uh, it just, it just <laughs> refills magically. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Yeah. Just <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I didn't know. Okay, I'll leave them then. Um, so the, what I, I look around. Yep. What do I see? Uh, you see the Dead snakes. Uh, weapon on the ground that you saw before, which is a musket. Ah, like this from that gifts have. Okay. And I'll you've never up. seen this type of weapon before. I'm very. You intrigued. do believe it is similar to like a cannon, probably. Yeah. But okay. you've never seen it before. Okay, I'm gonna hold on to it. I'll put it in the bag of holding for now. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's safe, guys. They're dead. So okay, you... don't trust me. <laughs> <laughs> I just grabbed you and I pulled you into the hole below the floor. Uh, okay. Because um, you know you got a giant hole in your stomach. Yeah, a little bit. Did my. So my leather armor didn't do very much protect me from that. No. Dude, I guess. <laughs> like, it, it acted as another layer to protect you, but it still okay. got all through it. Um, and it is like a cannonball type thing that like is in my chest or what is it like? Uh, it's a bunch of junk or <laughs> bunch of spoons and. Fucking <laughs> 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 uh, parts of the Caribbean <laughs> shoving all that shit in the cannon. Are muskets like spread shots or is it one? It can be a slug or it can be pellets. Okay. The way you load it. Uh, so you notice that it's. One large pellet type thing that's in your stomach. Um, can I just like rip it out? Yeah. Awesome. Uh, just <laughs> just roll a sleight of hand, I guess. Or medicine. Yeah, oh. yeah medicine would actually be perfect. Uh, sh- sixteen. Yeah, I see. You pull this out, and it's covered in blood. Mm-hmm. Maybe a few muscles, tendons, a little bit, maybe. And you just pull it out, look at it, and it just seems like a. Almost like a mini cannonball type thing. I pocket it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna get up. Um, I'm gonna. Thanks, friend, for pulling me into the hole. Oh, you know, it's just another day. <laughs> just a normal day. 
Right. Uh, right. Now let's burn this place to the ground. <laughs> no, I don't know if we should do that. And uh, that doesn't sound like the best course of action. We should probably go check on Blaze, although I'm kind of thinking... Like, <laughs> well, let's go steal that artwork anyway. I'll start heading up through the door, and I'll check I'm, the bodies, I guess. Uh, okay. <laughs> that's what I was about to say I was going to do while you guys are... Okay, that's fine. Nope. I kind of like... We kick can, him a couple times. We can yeah, so the first body just has snake bites all over him, and there was actually a snake around his neck that was constricting. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and Epic. It seemed like he died, and like a, a last ditch effort, he tried to stab the snake just on the <laughs> side, so the snake uh, did die from that. Oh. I but, thought you were going to say he no. stabbed <laughs> <on> the neck. <laughs> I threw the snake in, so. <laughs> Epic. And then the other one you see has a obsidian dagger. Obsidian or diamond the dagger? The diamond one's in his face. Yeah, a diamond dagger straight into the forehead, like, centered. I'll be, I'll be picking that out. Yeah. And he has a few snake bites on, it, on himself and a few wounds that are were healing before. Okay. Well, seeing that they're both dead, I'm going to grab Blaze by something. I don't know. I'm going to, like, pin him against the wall and be like, I needed them alive. <laughs> Why? <laughs> We still don't know why they went for us. Who cares? They took a bunch of important shit, so I killed them. As they're like, uh, uh, I feel like I'm going to start taking some of that artwork and throwing it into the hole. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like to take, okay. take with us out. And I will help. Okay. Put uh, me down! You're no. easily able to get you're all useless. the artwork down. I'm not useless, like I killed both of them by yeah. myself! Um, What's your alignment? With the big statue. Okay, and, uh, well, we'll, we'll, we'll do the statues after. <laughs> Why? You, you well, killed two innocent Let's just throw the men. artwork and take the artwork and then we can see about the statues. Okay. Ooh, Maybe ooh. we can both carry them. They're ooh. not innocent at all! <laughs> I just want to push like one they of the could statues have been. in the hole in this. <laughs> 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 um... I'm gonna hop down in the hole and then grab some of the artwork and then start walking out and see okay. where it leads. <laughs> yeah, so you walk through this underground tunnel and uh, it seems to go quite a ways. So you're walking for probably a couple of minutes and then you see it ends at a like dead end. It doesn't lead out. Uh, <laughs> uh, can I look to see if there's any sort of exit? Roll an investigation check, please. Baller. Um, ooh, that's a 13 there. Uh, you do see that there are some uh, parts of this wall that seem to be pushed in certain places. Hmm. Um, Mostly try. to the right side. Can I try pushing against it? Yeah, uh, just roll a strength check. That's what I'm good at. I got a 9. <laughs> Uh, nothing budges. Fair enough, I think our exit may be on this right side here. We just push. On the right side? Yeah, the side I'm currently looking at and just tried to push. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> let me... I'm gonna crack some knuckles. Uh, let me give it... Let me give some a try here. I'm gonna stretch my back, and then I'm gonna cast Gust of Wind <laughs> at the right side. <laughs> where you just push. Uh-oh. <laughs> You're casting magic? Oh shit! Yeah, can you roll <laughs> for wild magic? Wild things? magic. Farron has wild magic that I have forgotten about every single time so far. So Literally roll wild magic, Farron. This must make you feel really this good. This is doesn't canon. It? I just roll a d twenty, right? Yeah, I'll, sh- uh, I'll, get, I'll pull one thing right now. One hundred. Oh, one hundred. Yeah. So roll a d ten. Oh, oh, no! <laughs> no! What? <laughs> 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 Your age changes by number of years equal to the roll. If the roll is odd, you get younger. If the roll is even, you get older. <laughs> what is it? What is it? It's a five. It's a five. Okay, you can make it a nine if you want. What is it between? What do you want? It's up to you. It looked like a five to me. Five, first. okay. Uh, so, you, you feel as if uh, your skin is getting... A little bit looser and no, no. Odd is younger. Odd is younger. Even is older. Thought it was. Oh yeah, yeah. So you, you feel like you're skin getting tired. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what what age are you right yeah. now? Uh, I think I'm like twenty. 
Wings. The best part is this is happening to him. We don't even know because he's covered in. <laughs> he's so covered up. Wing twenty two. Twenty two. He's just gonna like. He's gonna he's go to cast Gusty Wind. He's gonna crack his nose. He's gonna go like this and just. Stop. Oh my god, you guys! He's turning into a thirteen year old. Wait, you're, wait, you're no, human, right? You're older five. Well, I don't know that. Oh, yeah. okay. So he's turning into a. He's seventeen, 16. so he's yeah. still <laughs> useful. But I can't drink anymore. <laughs> oh, that's so yeah. That yeah. So you, you you feel your skin start to tighten a bit. You feel as though you feel like you're maybe getting an inch or two shorter, and then, uh. What else? Um, He'd be a little voice? bit weaker. Yeah, you feel a little bit weaker. Seventeen, yeah. you're angsty as fuck right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good real complaining. And your and your voice too would probably change. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My a voice. Bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a lot. But hey, a everybody, bit. it's me. So, <laughs> so while this is happening, do I, what do I see? <laughs> like, do I, I see him shrink and so uh, long. I'm wearing her, I'm wearing a robe with a mask and a bear yeah. pelt on. Yeah. So you'd, you'd definitely see him shrink. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you do see him, like, shrink maybe two inches or so. You just barely catch that, and you don't, you can't actually really see his yeah. skin at all, so you're not able to see Why much just, else. Yeah. Take a picture. Of um, but do I notice, yeah. um... You're smart. Like, do I know what happened? Because, like, he went to go cast Gust of Wind, and all of a sudden, he just, like, nothing happening. Wait, no, yeah, wouldn't no, it magic? Still yeah, it oh, it still takes place, yeah. Uh, okay. yeah, That's just, just a weird side effect. effect. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, <coughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, this pelt got a lot more heavy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that it? Oh, 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 oh. oh this is gonna take forever. It's anyway, everywhere. guys, I gotta go. I gotta go to prom. <laughs> if I leave my girlfriend, she's gonna break up with me. <laughs> um, Dad doesn't understand. Uh, and then the door does swing outwards, <laughs> super awesome. hard. Um, so. I don't know what, like, do I know what happened to Farron, or I just saw he kind of, like, shrunk a bit? Yeah, you just saw that he kind of shrunk uh, a bit. Well, Maybe he was standing in his tiptoes. You could probably do an arcana check. Uh, like. Sure, yeah, because I do think that's a little weird. Oh my god. Yeah, uh, 20. Uh, from your learning when you were growing up, since you're no. in, like, a noble family, you would have had a lot of teaching, education, <laughs> and stuff like that. Yeah. So you do know that one type of, uh, Magic he, some people get is wild magic. Oh, sweet. And that means that when they cast magic, wild sometimes man. a random effect will happen. And honestly, <laughs> we had just clearly been the most lucky adventuring party ever because nothing has happened until yeah. now. <laughs> honestly, oh, if we would have been keeping up with it, Farron probably would have killed our party by now. I actually should have had you roll a d20 first before you rolled the wild magic. Oh, wow. Man. Yeah, because for wild magic, you have, if you get a 1, then... On the d20, then that's when the wild magic happens. Yeah. But I'll say that's oh, because yeah. I haven't had a roll yet. Yeah, so how many episodes? <laughs> 45? So the next yeah. 45 spells. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. I have to go back and watch each time and see every time you cast a spell and just make a tally board. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, Alright, so then I'm like, uh. That's the last time I'll have you do it like that. Though. Okay. Farron, are you alright? Uh. I. Well, I opened the passageway, but at what cost? <laughs> You notice when I always cracks a couple times. So, uh, do you have a wild magic there, buddy? Well, <laughs> I don't know what I have exactly. Something just happened here, and it's the first time this sort of happened. <laughs> I'm a little concerned. I'm going to be a little more cautious now on casting magic, if you don't mind. No, that's all right. Uh, what happened to you? I feel. You can I feel like I'm seventeen check. again. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm a dancing queen. <laughs> I feel like Zac Efron. <laughs> Shit, dude. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um. <laughs> What are the two of you doing while this is happening? Oh, we we. Uh, I'm still chewing them out for killing those guys. Okay. <laughs> ah, they were a bunch of pieces of shit. They were gonna steal a bunch of stuff. They deserved it. <laughs> Maybe you deserve it for killing them. <laughs> what? They were bandits. They were bad people. How do we know that they were the ones that were doing everything? Oh yeah, because they just decided to shoot us. Because we were breaking and entering in their house. <laughs> they have a bunch. If it's their house. 
house, then they know that there's a bunch of priceless artifacts. Because they knew about the door. They were like, ooh, maybe the library door. Well, there it is. They know it's all there. They're a bunch of thieves. If anything, they were just watching the house. I think you're just trying to make excuses to be mad at me. I needed to interrogate them. What for? You notice on a sign, welcome to the museum. (laughs) 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 We still don't know why they came after us. It doesn't matter. They're dead now, so they're not going to do anything else to us. Maybe you should join them. Maybe you should join them. (laughs) Fuck you. I'm going to kick him in the nuts so he drops me. (laughs) So he drops me. Uh... Roll a dexterity save and throw Zach. Oh, balls. That's what he's good at. Get it? Not 20. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, so you're able to, like, reposition how you are so that he just, he <laughs> kicks your knee and it hurts him, like, his foot more than it does okay. anything to you. I thought you were going to say he was able to reposition his balls. Like, just, like, nothing happens. So go back in for the time. <laughs> So, after he tries kicking me, I'll just suck a punch to him and throw him on the ground. Okay. It's a bull- I'm not gonna let that slide. <laughs> you wanna fucking fight? I'm gonna stand up and I'm gonna fucking <laughs> throw a dagger at him. Yeah. Yeah, going Arendelle. Uh, just barely, though. Arendelle, I think we should check on our friends. They seem like they're getting in some trouble. I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> <laughs> I throw my dagger. No worry, they'll figure it out. <laughs> well, you are the older one. <laughs> So you're, you're throwing your dagger? Yeah. Okay. Fuck this guy. <laughs> I'm going. I'm not throwing my pointy end at him, though. That's I don't kill him, but. 12. Is your AC? Doesn't beat that. I have 16. Okay, okay. good thing I have a bonus action. Yeah. <laughs> Throw the other one. That's much better. That's. uh, four, uh 22. Mm. Okay. <laughs> okay, so, like, describe what you're exactly doing. Well, he threw me on the ground, so yeah. I'm going to roll over and I'll throw one. Uh, blunt end at him, and then I'll jump back to my feet, and I'll throw the other one. So, okay. that is four plus, uh, seven damage. So you take seven bludgeoning damage. As the dull end of the dagger just hits you in the throat. Okay, well, now I'm pissed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to kill him, but I'm going to charge at him <laughs> and tackle him. I'm going to try and dodge out of the way. Let's do that. And then, if I do tackle him, I'm just gonna fucking start wailing on him. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, just roll strength and blaze roll a dexterity saving throw. Will this count as a missile? No. <laughs> if I'm okay. going fast enough. <laughs> okay, what am I rolling? Dexterity saving throw. I'm gonna run over there. Okay. I rolled a, uh, abyssal wretch. What's their thing because i forgot to write down for the main stat i rolled an 18 so i don't know what the ad is i think you're good what did you roll zach on that one oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah so you start charging at him and then blaze just takes a step back and you just trip on yourself okay okay uh as he falls over i'm gonna run over him grab my daggers up from the floor really quick and then turn around and be like you really want to you want to do this yeah get there uh, you're climbing, well, actually, it's hard to, it's kind of hard, no, there would have been a ladder somewhere, so you were able to find a ladder and put it on the, on the trapdoor to actually get up. Okay. And you're just climbing the ladder now. Okay. I'm, I'm walking out, like, from the <laughs> I'm gonna walk out and see where it goes. Okay, so, uh, you see that there's a ton of shrubbery and bushes in front of you. Oh, okay. yeah. Roll a... Dexterity saving throw, please. Mm-mm. I'm going to shot again. I just know. Uh, that is a 16. 16? Oh, uh, <coughs> sorry. Um, 15. 15? Okay, yeah. let me just check one thing. Yo, <laughs> this has been solid. <laughs> Don't come at me like that, bro. You're lucky I can't roll good. So you rolled a 15? Yeah. Okay, so as you... Uh, there's a small opening in the shrubbery and you walk out and you're like a few inches from walking into a gelatinous cube. And you're just barely able to stop yourself before it happens. Is this like Minecraft? (laughs) 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 Thank you. Um, damn. Um, 
And that's where we'll stop for this episode of A Deal with Demons. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Shit, that was good. Wow. That's fun. Fun episode. Let's call it episode one. <laughs>